Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise and I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm going to bring you a review of John Renault Carrie. Carrie is a human hair wig um, in the John Renault line and this is in the color 6F27 which is also known as Caramel Ribbon and I'll show you the tag. So in this video, we're going to talk about Carrie. I have two Carries, and I'm going to show you the other Carrie, which is fresh out of the box. So here's how this video is going to go. I'm going to give you my impressions of Carrie. I'm going to talk about the cap, the fit, and then I'm going to show you the out of the box carry so you can see what a human hair wig might look like coming out of the box and then I'm gonna wash that carry and we're gonna see how that one stacks up to the one on my head because as we all know wigs can vary and I'm curious about how two carries might look different so if this interests you please stick around so first of all I purchased both of these carries uh, <laughs> A little bit outside of my comfort zone. I'm not a huge human hair wig person, but I love learning about wigs. Since making these videos has become a passion hobby for me, I am a huge fan of making videos, bringing new information to all my wig sisters. As a fellow wig sister who um, eats up videos like crazy because I want to learn as much as I can, I decided I'd like to try uh, Carrie because she's such a popular and relatively affordable human hair wig and so I found this carry on clearance and paid great uh, she was more than 50% off so I got a really good deal and then I saw the other carry and I decided to get it because here's why this carry dries wavy the way she is on my head right now is how she has dried I did not curl this carry I have not cut or thinned or trimmed or anything to this carry but washed her and I was really curious if all carries come with this kind of a wave so I decided to buy a second one in the name of research for my fellow wig sisters so that I could show how they both might look and so before I talk too much about this carry because I want to give you all my impressions I've actually worn her about six or seven times and so I have some experience now and I'd love to share those thoughts with you but before I do that I'm going to show you what Carrie looks like on all sides All right, like I said, I have not done anything to carry except wash her. And so that is recommended when you get a human hair wig that you wash it before you wear it. And there's a variety of reasons for that. I am not a human hair expert. I'm really just learning about human hair at this point. But one of the things I did notice, and you'll see it in this other carry, they do not come looking very good out of the box a lot of the time. Unless you buy one from um, like a, a small like wig maker or something and they curl it for you and they style it for you, they usually come needing a little <laughs> washing and styling. They can have really bad box hair. They get crimp crimped up really easily, just like human hair does. If you put a braid in, it gets crimped up. If you sleep on it, you get weird bumps on your hair that you got to take care of in the morning. The same thing happens to human hair wigs. And so I washed her, and then I, when she was air drying, which I let her air dry, I scrunched her a little bit, and she dried wavy. What you're seeing right now is after about four wears and I comb her out with a wide tooth comb and so this wave is a little relaxed. She was actually a little more wavy than even this and I'm really hoping the other Carrie will do the same so you'll be able to see a freshly washed one. I wore Carrie all day today so far so we're actually late afternoon right now. I've been wearing her since early this morning all day. I just had to quickly take her off. I had to let the, um, release the it stays so that I could do this video. I'm hoping it's not re-adhering. Um, so this is, she looks fabulous all day. Now, I have not put curl in her. I'm not great at curling wigs right now or styling for the most part. And so I haven't actually curled her or styled her. I'm not going to be able to speak to how well she holds a curl, but I'm hoping to give you enough impressions that this, along with any other videos you might watch, will help you know if Carrie's for you. Carrie has a lace front 
and a mono top. Otherwise, she's wefted throughout. So she is not a super high-end cap. She's kind of middle of the road. She's not hand-tied. And she fits me awesome. I actually think this carry fits me a little bit uh, better than a lot of other John Renault wigs. So I am a tw I have a 22 inch circumference, which is average, but I'm very petite over the top of my head, almost child size. A lot of caps are big on me over my head. They may fit my circumference and then I get a lot of extra cap. I don't seem to have a ton of extra cap in this one. So I think this runs really average, um, maybe a little under average, just slightly though, if anything. So I'd say if you're solidly average, you're gonna fit this just fine. The coverage at the ear tabs is phenomenal. This comes all the way down to my ear and I get awesome coverage here. I often, um, so let me show you, there's all my buzzed hair. I often have tons of um, my hairline showing with wigs. I do not with this one. Another thing I noticed is they did such a good job of sewing hair onto the ear tabs and it actually has baby hairs, which I, I didn't know I would love because I don't have any experience with baby hairs, but I love. So let me show you this lace front. It is awesome and all of this right over here. These are all baby hairs. They look phenomenal. I don't know if getting more light on here will give you a better look or not. This lace front is so, so good. So let me lift it off so that you can see it. Gives you a little better perspective. It is such a good lace front. And let me just look real quick at this one. I think I, I trimmed this lace a little bit with pinking shears. Yeah, because this one's not scalloped. This one, as you can see, has a little scalloping trim to it. You'll see it better when I take it off. And it's because I felt that the lace was a little long on this one, and I felt like I could see it. So I did trim the lace a little bit. Uh, it looks so realistic. And when I pull it off, like in a clip, which I've done, it looks so realistic. This hairline is phenomenal. So let me take her off for you and show, her, show you. So she does have a full mono top and you can part her anywhere as long as it's within that monofilament, which is great because we don't all like to part our hair exactly the same. And so you can do center part, you can do side parts, uh, narrow, uh, deep, whatever works out best for you, you can do that. And here is where I meant about the scalloping. See that? I just took a pinking shears and I just cut it whenever I cut back lace. So these come pre-cut, just like your John Renault synthetic wigs. Sometimes though, I find lace fronts, even on the pre-cut ones, the ready to go ones, can be a little uh, deep for me. Some, you know, I wear a lot of makeup sometimes and if you can get makeup on the lace front, it might show. Um, sometimes I feel like because I adhere my wigs with its stays, sometimes I feel like uh, you can see a little bit of an indent indent <laughs> where that lace is because the, it stays whole, kind of tacks it to my head. So I find if I trim that lace just a tiny, tiny bit, that really helps with that problem. So if you're experiencing something like that, consider trimming your lace. Now, again, you do it at your own risk. A lot of people say don't trim the lace because it'll fray. I personally have trimmed the lace on a lot of wigs and I don't have a problem with them fraying. John Renault, recommends that you use a pinking shears if you're going to trim their lace because of how it's weaved together. And so I just use pinking shears on all lace fronts that I trim. It does give it a little bit of a, a wavy edge. And I actually think it adds to the realism personally. You can't really see it and it removes that line of demarcation that you might see when you adhere a wig. So I'm a fan and I did that with this one. Um, otherwise, it's got, you know, the basic John Renault cap, great ear tabs, lots of hair sewn in on them, an extended nape, Velcro adjusters. Um, I got to tell you guys, I'm loving this wig. I really am. And here's the deal. I'm not a huge fan of, I don't think I'm a huge fan of human hair in general. I have uh, another human hair wig that I have a video on. It's a push wig. You can search my videos for um, the Eileen push wig. It's beautiful hair. It's Remy human hair. It's a fully hand-tied cap. It is premium and gorgeous. And I just don't like to style hair. I don't like to style hair. I just want shake and go. I've been wearing synthetic wigs for two and a half years. I like it. Um, there's some benefits to human hair, but 
the styling for me is not one of those benefits. I just love that this dries the way she dries and she's so easy to wear. I did not have to trim her or thin her where my push wig, I had to do both. And I'm still working on my push wig to get it the way I want it because it's a ton of hair. I'm going to do an update video on that, by the way. So for those of you who've seen my other videos on that, I am going to update you. I'm going to circle back soon, soon, soon. Um, but I can't, I'm not complaining about it. It's beautiful and I love it. And I do recommend it with caveats that I'll share. And it's not the wig's fault. The caveats are more about you because <laughs> it's all my deals. Um, anyway, so I just think this is, this is as close to shake and go in my opinion as a human hair wig could possibly be. The density is moderate. It's not super heavy density. It's not super light. I'd say it's moderate density. It's a good amount of hair that makes you feel secure. It get, it, it's enough to give you some style, but it's not overwhelming. The length is great. It's just about my shoulders and it's super flattering. It has very slight layers throughout. It's not, so you can see that here, it's not super layered, but it does have a few layers. No permatease. Permatease is um, generally a synthetic wig thing, not a human hair wig thing. And somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I've done a little bit of research on that and permatease really isn't something that's used in human hair wigs. So it doesn't have like poofy, pillowy, anything like that. The volume you see is a, is a product of the amount of hair and the texture, the waviness. You can straighten it, you can curl it, you can color it. Um, you just have a lot of flexibility with it. Let me talk about color. 6F27, also known as Caramel Ribbon. This color looks nothing like my synthetic Caramel Ribbon. I have Ignite in Caramel Ribbon and the colors are quite different. I am gonna do a color comparison, human hair versus synthetic, and I'm going to compare the two Caramel Ribbons. The other carry I have right here that I will throw on for you is in the color Toffee Truffle. And I also have a, a Toffee Truffle in synthetic, so I'll compare those two as well. There are differences, so please know that if you're going to um, kind of rotate between human hair and synthetic wigs, if you are gonna buy, a, like in the John Renault line, you like a specific color and you wanna get the human hair counterpart or the synthetic counterpart, those colors are not gonna be exactly matching. So I'm gonna talk about that. This is a beautiful auburn. It's very much an auburn. It doesn't have a lot of brunette highlighting, which you would expect with the six in it. It's really a kind of an auburn, a light auburn. Um, pulls very red, reddish auburn versus brunette where my caramel ribbon and synthetic, you can see a lot more of that six, which is a medium brown. You really cannot see that in this one. All right, so I'm gonna put this other one on and then I'm gonna go wash it and then I'm gonna come back and we will see what we've got in a second carry. So kind of the bottom line is, I am super pleasantly surprised how much I love this wig. I just think it's super cute, super comfortable. It doesn't feel heavy. I will tell you though, human hair does feel a little hot to me and I've seen, um, Again, you're gonna get different opinions from different people. I have been told by people that human hair is cooler than synthetic. I have been told by people that human hair is warmer than synthetic. I think it just depends on your experience and the wig that you have. I do feel she feels very natural, not itchy, um, but I do feel like I get a little warm in her and you know, it's just maybe a little bit heavier. All right, so take a good look because this is gonna look very, very different, so get ready. I'm going to put the other one on and then I'm going to do just a quick switch so that you can see out of the box, not super pretty. This is out of the box. So it's just very flat box hair, really, really bad, hangs in the face, wangers everywhere. I mean, definitely needs to be washed. Now I've had the other Carrie for about nine months now and I, um, I do remember that she came out of the box this way. I don't actually know if I filmed an out of the box when I got her. I try to always do that, but I might not have. Um, so here's an out of the box of a Carrie. But 
so the next step with this one is to wash it and then to dry it now with human hair you can air dry it you can blow dry it I air dried that Carrie and so I'm thinking I'm gonna do the same with this one and um, because I kind of wanna I just want to see if I if air drying gets those waves right now she's very straight like she does not look to me like she would be wavy um, I'm really hoping that she will be but we will see so stick around and let's see what we got Hey guys, just cutting in here really quickly. I just finished washing Carrie and I think she's gonna dry wavy, look at that. Okay, so I didn't film the whole washing. I may do that in a future video, but like I said, search for how to wash a human hair wig. There are lots of them out there. I do have a tips and tricks playlist in on my channel that is other people's tips and tricks I think is what I called it and I think I might have a couple of hair washing videos on that but I just wanted to show you so I washed her and then I wrapped her in a towel and my lighting is terrible I only have one of my lights on let me turn this other one on just so you got a little bit better light um I didn't plan this uh and I so then I wrapped it in a towel like I would a synthetic wig now I will not hang this wig upside down like I would a synthetic wig because it causes weird crimps in the hair I've done that before with the human hair wig not a good thing but what I will do right now is she's still damp I'm going to take a washcloth and I'm actually just going to kind of squeeze like this and try to squeeze out some of that excess water. I'm not rubbing, I'm just squeezing. And one of the, and then I'm gonna hang her, um, you could put her on a mannequin head. I would be real careful with that though because the cap is wet and you don't wanna stretch the cap out if the mannequin head is bigger than the cap size. What I like to do is I take a thick washcloth and I hang it over the spout of my tub and then I just drape the wig on the washcloth over the spout and I let it sit like that. You can lay it down flat to dry but you risk getting a flattened spot on the hair unless you're going to go move it around a lot. Now it's almost 10 o'clock at night right now. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to bed. So I'm just trying to get some of this excess water out so that when I hang it the weight of the water doesn't pull out the waves that I'm hoping will remain. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of squeeze. I've already wrapped her in a towel and squeezed her really well. So I got the bulk of the water out. I'm not getting a lot of water on here. But I just want, I thought it would be cool to show you guys what I'm doing and also what she looks like. She's still wet, but she's going to be wavy. Just like the other one. That makes me really, really happy. All right, anyway, that's all I came here to show you guys. <laughs> I'll talk to you in a minute. Hey everyone, I'm back and I have Carrie in toffee truffle on my head right now. And I am super thrilled with how she turned out and the waves, so check her out. I will stick the other Carrie on in a minute. So this is washed and air dried. All I did was wash her in human hair shampoo. It's actually, it was um, uh, for wigs, Belle Madame, because it's my favorite brand, but you can use any human hair shampoo. I would um, make it sure it's paraben and sulfate free, but um, any human hair shampoo will be fine. And then I just I, I showed you how I was wringing the hair out and then I just scrunched her a few times during the drying process I came along and I just scrunched her just a little bit but otherwise this is fully air dried I love it oh my gosh you guys okay so I have to just say I wholeheartedly recommend Carrie this is not the new Carrie that came out that's the Remy human hair it's the original Carrie and I am loving this wig now I have her in two and I know that she's awesome in both. Something I did notice though, you can see how this bang is swooping and is really, really heavy. I didn't try to position the bang after washing. I wasn't really thinking of that. So she dried in this direction with a super deep part right there. Um, now human hair isn't as easy to redirect as synthetic hair so I did try to repart her to try to get a little better but this now just wants to do this all your all I'm gonna have to do is get that a little wet and take a hair dryer to it 
So I just need to figure out how I want it parted, get it wet, and then take a hair dryer to just redirect those fibers. It'll it'll um, redirect the knots so that it'll go whatever direction I want it to go in. That's not an issue. I just want to point it out because I wasn't thinking of it, and so I didn't mess with the front. So so with human hair, you know, it's not necessarily exactly shake and go. There are some little nuances that are different. But what I really, really, really love about Carrie is how she dries wavy. I really, honestly, you guys, at this stage of my wig wearing journey, I don't want to have to style wigs that much. I really have just really gotten spoiled by synthetics. And so that's my one issue with some uh, human hair is um, sometimes they don't look great just air dried or, um, you know, you have to take a flat iron to them and you have to do some things. You have to put curl in them. I can wear carry just air dried or minimally blow dried and be completely happy with her and so this is seriously uh, a thrill for me so let me put on my other one just again so you can see them I, I feel as though this one might be just a little shorter it's feeling like it could be a little shorter now that could be because it's pretty much brand new and it's just been washed it's minimal it's not significant but if there are going to be differences and you know there are going to be differences these aren't mass produced and so fibers are cut and fibers are you know um sewn into the cap or tied into the cap so there's just a couple of things about this carry that seem a little different this one seems a little fuller and again i've worn this one multiple times since it's been washed and so it could just be because it's been worn but it feels just a little bit fuller it actually feels a little fuller when it's even on my head um but other than that, I mean, they both dry wavy. They both have subtle, long layers. The caps on both of these fit me perfectly and are super comfortable. The fibers, the fibers, the hair on both of these feel amazing. So um, I'm spending a lot of time because human hair is an investment. Even in a relatively budget-friendly human hair piece, it's an investment. You know, you're going to pay uh, potentially... Um, you know, four to nine hundred dollars for um, the piece, depending on if you find a good sale and, and a, you know whatever factors are involved. So this is awesome, and I do want to quickly show you a product I just discovered yesterday that I have fallen in love with. Now, obviously, I've only had it a day, so I don't have longevity tests. But I went to Target and I found this Aussie. Uh, Miracle Curls. It's a it's a just a 3.2 ounce bottle. It's an oil. It's with coconut and Australian jojoba oil, and it is first of all, it smells like heaven. It smells amazing, but it's meant it's an oil that's meant to hydrate and help bring out curls. So in this one, I didn't use it on the other piece, but on this one, I've actually worn her twice now since I filmed the first half. It's been a few days, and I've just been in a carry mood, so I've worn her a few times. And because she's human hair, and I've I've combed through her, you know, these were starting to get a little frizzy. The curls, not bad, because she's not a full out curl. And I just took a little bit of this oil between my fingers, and I just sort of ran it into it through the wig and just refreshed it and it not only smells super good but it just uh, kind of refreshed the style and got rid of a little bit of the frizz so I paid less than five dollars for that I'll link it in the description if I can find it on Amazon uh, but I'm sure I got it at Target I'm sure you can get it at Walmart at CVS at Walgreens wherever you want to buy it um, if you do purchase it from Amazon whenever I have an Amazon link it's an associate link I think that's what it called associate link and that just means I might get a little bit of a commission if you purchase it it does not increase your price at all and I don't you know, if you want to support me, that is a way you can support me. The most I've ever gotten from Amazon on those links, though, is like 20 bucks in a month. I mean, it's not making me any money. But um, anyway, that's just my little two cents about those affiliate links or associate links, whatever they're called. Okay, I got to stop. I'm rambling. So bottom line, carry beautiful hair, love the waves, cap is comfortable. Um, if you're wanting to delve into human hair and you're unsure and you like wavy hair, Carrie could be a safe first wig. First of all, it's not going to be a huge expense uh, compared to 
a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars that you might spend on a different wig, and then you can practice and learn. Do you want to style a wig? I have seen tons of people post about Carrie who have straightened Carrie, who have curled Carrie. I've heard she holds curl great. Um, I do my research before I do these videos. If I can't show you something, I at least want to talk about what I've seen. I've never seen um, anybody really complain about Carrie. I've seen a couple, maybe that the hair, you know, it's not Remy and, and sometimes that's important to people, but I don't know. I'm, I'm going to give Carrie two thumbs up. I'm loving her. I'm going to do a color spotlight separate from this video because it's already long enough. So I'm not going to talk about the color of both of these a whole lot. So stay tuned for my color spotlight. What it's going to show is going to compare the two colors I have, Toffee Truffle and the Caramel Ribbon. Um, but it's also going to compare those colors to their synthetic counterparts because um, especially the caramel ribbon looks really different from the synthetic. And just keep in mind, you can color human hair. You can take it to a stylist. If you're comfortable, you can do it yourself. Um, I'm not certain if I'm going to keep both of these. I, I kind of don't need to. Um, I love them so much. So my decision is really um, on this one. Um, I, I just wish it had a little more dynamic color. So if you're looking at caramel ribbon and you like dynamic, keep that in mind. Again, I'll do a color spotlight soon. So that's it. This has been Carrie, full mono top, lace front is great on both. Both of them have these like kind of little tiny baby hairs, which I think add tremendous realism to them. Um, like I mentioned before, the cap fits me really well. It doesn't, I, I, it's, I think it's like solidly average. Um, I don't, I get a li little bit of extra cap, which I always do in John Renault. So I think if you've tried John Renault and it generally fits you, then this is probably going to fit you as well. And, um, the only other thing between, um, you know, synthetic and this being hotter or cooler, um, I think I would just have to say, I think the human hair is maybe a little hotter. I think it just maybe traps the heat a little bit more. Maybe it's just a little bit heavier. So um, if that's super important to you, I, it's good that it has the wefting. I, I don't notice it significantly. Um, but I also notice that just, I, can't, I don't know, the hair is less itchy in some ways. So even though I don't have a lot of trouble with itching with synthetic. All right, that's it. I hope this was helpful. I hope you skipped parts that were too wordy for you and that for those of you who are soaking all this in, I covered everything you needed. If I didn't, let me know. I'll jot it down and then maybe I'll revisit this at some point and cover the things I didn't cover. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I do a lot of different things with wigs and in this next year, I'm gonna do a whole lot more than I've ever done. So I hope you stick around and, and go on the ride with me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey everyone, a quick look at Caramel Ribbon in the Human Hair Wig Carry by John Renault outside. This is the color in human hair. So it's very different from the synthetic version, which I was super surprised about and I did not expect, even though I know they're different, I really was surprised at how different. No rooting. Really natural looking up there. I don't know if that got... It's hard for me to tell if it's in the frame. Hopefully it is. Alright, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching.